released in 2008. It caused sprawling success for the company. It has a pretty cool cover. You know, there's a Brotherhood of Steel member on the front of it. It looks pretty solid, not gonna lie, you know? And when you enter that menu, and you hear that music for the first time, Ion Zerg gives you, you know, it makes you feel pretty good. And, uh, yeah, that's all, like, eight, no, no, ten years, it's not ten years ago, no, yet. Yeah. No, yeah, no, twelve years. Twelve, uh, thirteen. Thirteen years. It's been thirteen years since this game came out, if I'm not mistaken, 2008. Um, it's 2021. There's a way to enjoy every game in 2021. This game is hard to get working on Steam. It's difficult. You can struggle to get it working. But I'm sure you can figure out something. I have a save from long ago, which I'm not sure where it was, but it was the Vault 101 entrance, because I always kept this, because I really don't like doing the intro to this game. Like most of you, you'll start the game, do the intro, and then you'll want to turn back and be like, hey, fuck it, I'll go and play some Fortnite or something. But, no. When you make your character, you have to create someone who's going to stick out compared to everyone else, and a well-groomed mofo like this um, sticks out for sure. I really find it amazing that in the Fallout universe they have stuff to take care of your hair like this, good oils and stuff, but then again, I guess there's grease everywhere. When doing your special, what I would usually do is I would devote all my points into one single skill set. Something like luck is completely broken because, I mean, you'll have massive amounts of crit, which, I mean, why would you not want that? So, let's put everything into luck. Uh, screw perception for the moment. Well, maybe. Uh, luck picking energy weapons in terms of red compass and mark. Hmm, maybe I'll put some more points into... See, strength's not bad, but I couldn't really give a crap about charisma. Charisma's cool if you want some more money or you want to make some good choices, but let's say we want to answer every single thing in this game with strength and... A destruction. I guess what we could do is we could put all our points into perception so we have energy weapons later when we can use it. Because energy weapons are pretty goddamn inaccurate. I'm gonna put my strength down to four and my endurance down to three. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm gonna put agility up to six and intelligence up to six. And this this seems pretty goddamn solid. I usually tag at least either lock picking or science. One or the other will be good for hacking terminals or opening doors, but we have lock picking high up because of our stuff, and obviously we're going to put small guns up. Because that's pretty cool. And then what I'm also going to do is I've got to put energy weapons up. Because there's just so goddamn many of them in this game. So, and then all we really have to do is leave the vault and go out into the fresh air. And um, enjoy whatever is thrown at us. This bright sea was always the best, man. And from here, you kind of just do whatever you want. You're going to level up here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Look how awful your sensitivity is when you come out of the game on mouse. Look at that. It doesn't matter how high my DPI is on my mouse. Because my mouse... Ha Jesus Christ. It's the worst in Skyrim, though. Oh, look, we can level up. How nifty and neat is that? Uh, so, the more points you have in intelligence as a as an attribute, the more points you actually get to distribute in skill points. So, what I would do here is probably put some points into small guns up to here. And um, put this up to 45. Oh, God. Let's put... Ah, Jesus. What else do I want? What else do I want? It wouldn't be a bad shout to put points into barter, even though we didn't start off with putting points into it. Because barter's pretty goddamn good. You know what? Let's put all these points into barter, because barter's actually really goddamn good, man. That's really goddamn good. Let's go into the stuff like this. Sorry, stuff like intense training, or let's say swift learning and stuff like that, right? You want to get these early. If you don't get these early, there's no point in getting them later. They really just kind of come off as well early, so... I don't really know what I want to put in here. I guess small guns are either gun or intense training. I feel like intense training wouldn't be a bad shout here, to be honest. Let's go into intense training and let's put an extra point into intelligence, because why not? Um, I'd like more points when I level up. Why not? Also, man, when you get into a game, right, to give yourself a fresh coat, look at the sensitivity. Give yourself a fresh coat, all right? You check the settings menu. And you change anything you want to change. Anything. You change anything. Turn the radio down so you don't get copyright claimed of some form. Go to display. You change the hood color if you want. Change it to whatever you want. I like a good amber. You know, we'll change everything to amber. Texture size. Get all your, your fades going here. Turn on subtitles if you want. Turn them off if you don't want them. Turn your brightness down if you don't want brightness up. I'm going to turn it down for a, a bit of a better realistic glow. Gameplay, play what difficulty you want. Stop coming into the game and expecting to come on and play in this difficulty, but like, this is how you replay the game. You can replay a game. I'm, very, I'm going to replay it. I'm very easy. I don't care. 
I'm here for the experience. Who gives a shit what happens? Fallout's funny. Anything could happen. Look, I just opened a mailbox and got three frag grenades, Jet and Psycho. What more could you ask for? I literally, I literally walked 10 steps. Now, yeah, we also have all the DLC, so, that, you know, you can go and do them if you wanted, like, totally. That'd be cool. Look, there's an iBot. You know, I don't really like propaganda, so let's destroy it. Well, we'll try and destroy it. I kind of missed my first two bullets there, but we're going to pretend that I didn't. I always check these mailboxes, man, because there could be something useful in them. I'm truly not used to E being the exit button as well. I always get baffled and confused by this. But you just have so much stuff to do here, so it doesn't- Look at that, we have a skill- we have a level cap of 30 now, which is- pr it's, it's pretty goddamn small, I'm not gonna lie. You'll reach it pretty fast if you grind this game out for like two or three days. It's not hard to get to, to 30, it really isn't. Depending on what you do anyway. It can be difficult if you don't do the right things. If you're consistently doing quests and chilling, you know, you'll be pretty fine. Usually what people do is they go to Megaton, but you don't need to follow the story. You can do what you want. Let's go over to the Springvale school here, you know. Let's kill your man in here pre-Moriarty and take the caps. Oh, it's not your man, it's a woman. So this makes it easier. Um, That's a joke. I'm joking. Let me put my gun in here. <laughs> I'll put my grenades here. I miss having New Vegas as ammo switch type. You know the way to have it up at the top for two? So, we're going to, um, we're going to vat her because we'll do really heavy crits because we have luck so high. Are you watching here? Are you watching here? Another critical strike. Another critical strike, bro, because this isn't Skyrim. So you're not getting points depending on how much you're using, um... Depending on how much you're using the skill, you get it for the accomplished task. So let's say you find an NPC and you kill the NPC. You get awarded experience points for killing the NPC, not for the fight with the NPC. While as with Skyrim, it's you get awarded for the fight with the NPC. This uh, gives some, some, some incentive to play the game in a higher difficulty. See, we've just discovered this school. That's not a bad shout now, is it? No. That's a pretty cool thing. There is some raiders on the outside here. Also, make sure to quick save constantly. Because what it is about, you're building your character. Alright? You're doing what you want. We have this 10mm pistol. You know, I have really, really good crits. We're playing on a difficulty I feel comfortable with. <clears throat> I have a 21% chance to hit this. But if I do hit it, guess what? It's gonna crit this bitch into oblivion. But I didn't crit that bitch that time. Look at that. It was better I didn't use vats. I wish I had a Chinese assault rifle. Because they're really, really good. And I don't mean just to the assault rifle. I literally mean, like, look, look at that. You know what we'll do? Nah, we won't. We won't wear the raider sadist armor. Because we're not going to cater to sadists. A lot of people feel that they have to, like I said earlier, play the games on heavier difficulties to, uh, to give themselves replay value. But, I mean, you don't really. If you enjoy the story or something. Like, for example, let's say recently, I was wondering whether to buy Red Dead 2 or get it on. Alright? And a lot of people said they don't find there's replay value in it because there's not multiple ways to do the missions because that's the way Rockstar's formula is, as you all know. But here's the thing. Did you enjoy the experience? Did you have fun playing it? Well, is that not reason enough to replay the game? Because that's what replay value... Replay. 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 Goddamn replay. Replay value should be. It should be doing exactly that. Sometimes these lockers have something nice in them. But I'm not doing a melee build as most people in Fallout do because melee is fun. Melee is always broken. I remember when Fallout 76 came out. I don't know if melee is still broken in Fallout 76. I'm sure it is. I will say, with difficulties, what I find with higher difficulties for me is I'll use more at my disposal. So, let's say in Skyrim, I will probably... I never use alchemy. There's just no reason to. I get by in just a healing spell. There's, there's simply no reason on an easier difficulty unless I want to. Like, obviously, you can do it for uh, purposes like uh, roleplay and stuff like that. But, I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, what's the point? What do you get out of it? I love these dangling bodies. Yummy. Wait, that's locked. I don't remember if there's a key or not for this. There's buff out here. There's a med box here for us to get some stuff. Um, yeah, that's where all the ants are down there. Where they've been tunneling out of place. Because yeah, our bard are so low, it really is we're going to make like zero fucking caps off of, of anything we do. Oh, there's something in these filing cabinets. There we go. 5.56. Dead. Where's all the raiders? How did she manage to go around? Look, let's try something else here. Let's 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 throw some grenades. Let's throw some grenades. 
Let's lob another grenade. I don't even think we needed to lob that grenade. I think they both died anyway. Yeah, they both got killed anyway. It didn't matter. Now, you know what, man? Our armor, it's good. But is it good enough? That's the true question. That's why Raider armor is pretty great. Raider Blastmaster armor. Let's let's let, let's open it up and just see. Like we, we have that choice, you know. We have lockpick plus five and repair plus five on this suit. Uh, but on this, the damage rating is one. But the uh, not damage rating. The what the hell does DR stand for? I don't know what DR stands for, man. All I know is that it's higher. I should probably lock it up to be honest. I don't know. It's better anyway. Well, it's better in terms of value, uh, in terms of survivability. But our actual vault suit has plus five to lockpick and plus five to repair. And that plus five to lockpick can be um, the difference between getting a massive haul of treasure in the door and not. So, but I'll show you this. We can, if you want, you know. Let's say the game isn't proving to be challenging enough and it's actually boring you. You can put the difficulty up, make a save. You know, let's crouch here. You know, we're, we're, we're getting a bit more of a challenge. I broke her shotgun, so if I wanted to use that shotgun, it won't be happening now. Oh. Let's do some, some shots to the head here, see if we can get a crit. No, we're not getting any crit chance, but we do have improved crit chance, so that's the main thing you have to remember. I can't remember what perks control crit. At all. Like, I really, really can't remember, but we leveled up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's take the buff out the... Oh, we leveled up. Never mind. So, instead of 16 points uh, to skill points like we did last time, we have 17 for putting that one point into intelligence, which is pretty great. So, let me put five more points into lockpick. Let's put three points into this. And then let's put our batter up to 25 and we'll continue. And then I'm going to go intense training again. And what we're going to do is put one more point into... The extra point really does make the difference in the world, man. Because if you think about it, if we put three more points in this, we're getting, what, four or five more points? But then again, endurance could really help us as well because of bonus to help. See, all these are just great. All of these are just great. Let's put a point into agility. That's what we'll do. We'll put another point into agility. Let's take all this stuff here. I strength high enough that we won't probably be hoarding a massive amount of stuff. Also, there's some perks later that we can get, like the um, the hoarder perk. That's pretty cool. Let's open this up. Also, I really don't recommend force locking, man. You can always open these up. Just don't, just don't force lock. You'll break that lock and you won't be able to try again. And there's literally no point. I know there's a perk later that you can try it twice, but you don't need to try it twice. All right, you you, you don't. You don't need to try it twice. Also, this game lets you just repair stuff straight off the bat in your inventory. It's pretty cool. So, I mean, take advantage of it since it's... Um, wait, that's six and that's two. Why would I even bother putting... Oh, let's put the shotgun in there, actually. What about the 32 pistol? That's four damage. So, it's two less damage than the 10 millimeter pistol. Let's go over here and... and oh, they're below us, I think. Ah, uh, well, that's a shame. I'm going to have to go downstairs to kill them anyway. Oh! Didn't see him there at all. Also, I guess the reloading this is just kind of AIDS. Let's try and get some headshots. Man, we have a 69% chance. This means it's going to work. See? I told you it would work. I had not got a doubt in my mind. In my mind. Do we have any stim packs? actually? I should probably put them down. We do have stim packs. See, here's another thing, alright? Because we're on a higher difficulty. Alright? Because we're on a higher difficulty, we can... What did I have as my four? This here, yeah. We won't have to use as many healing items, so I guess that's pretty great, right? See, I just used a stim pack there. Melee is great, though, man. I recommend if you've not done a melee build in Fallout before to do one. It's pretty goddamn uh, pog. We should be able to kill her here. Imagine finding use in the 32 pistol, man. Who knew? Who knew one day in my life I would be using the 32 pistol to achieve something? Well, I guess it's this day. There's another raider over here. Let's go kill it. I think it's down. Oh, I'm being shot by Thinny. I think it's over here. There's a nuka cola quantum here, by the way. You have to collect 30 of these for um, a side quest, which is not annoying per se. Especially, you can look up a map to where to find them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Our small guns skill is doing great here, man. 
See, you could get that 10%. You only get to get 30 skill points. So that's what my problem with getting intense training is too much. Well, not really, because you'll make your character stronger, I guess. And perks are to make your character stronger. That's kind of why you get them, you know? I don't think I needed to explain that, to be honest. But I'll do it anyway. Is there any more healing items or anything around here? Also, there's some really cool stuff that could seriously help you. Like being able to drink from toilets and not get radiated and stuff. Like, it's a free healing source if you can do that. I mean, I'm probably going to get that perk when I get it. Because, I mean, free healing, you know? Doesn't matter what difficulty you're on. Free healing is the shit, boys. Hello, Raider, who looks pretty cool. That's 89% your head, bro. Let me get a crit. Crit. No. No. I hit her arm. His arm. His arm. I hit his arm. Gunplay in this game is peak performance. Peak performance. Isn't there something in here? Bro, I actually don't know where I'm going. Did I come from upstairs or downstairs? Or where did I come from? Oh, I just came back upstairs. That's what I did here. I kind of lost where I was. Let's go on now. You see? We explored the school. And that was pretty cool. Now we can go to Megadon. Poor Mickey always sits out here, bro. You can give him some water like a good Samaritan. Or you can blow his brains out. But I'm pretty sure Megadon won't let me in if I do that. So, ah, oh, traitor. Hello. Crow. Cool. Do you come from the Commonwealth, I assume? That's nice. I'm here to buy, my friend. So, our batter is shit. He has 98 caps. That's pretty, uh, not pog. I'll tell you that much. Let's sell the BB gun, the baseball bat, the Chinese pistol, the combat knife. Uh, anything else there, we'll keep. We're only going to get 98 caps off him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's if we even have enough, actually. I just realized we might not even have enough. Wow, well, we do have enough stuff to sell to him that we could get money off it. So, that's, again, you, could, you should pick up junk. You should pick up junk. You should. Alright, let's see, does he have anything of interest? He has sim packs. We can grab them, you know. We can sell our instant mash. We can sell our dirty water. Um, we can sell our... If you're not going to use drugs, you might as well not take them. Sell the mentats. Um, sell the jet. Yeah, there we go. Now, the really cool thing about finding magazines and comics in this is um, you get permanent stats off them. So, Duck and Cover will give us a permanent explosive increase. So, now, I'll show you guys something as well. There's a really cool thing in Fallout 3. It's a rock. It's a really special rock. And this special rock is up this way here. Yonder. You'll come across it. It's a hidden rock. A hidden cache, if you want to call it that. Cache. 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 How do you say it? I'm not really sure. But it's up yonder here. Can I shoot the mole rat from here? Man, I really didn't do any damage to the mole rat. That's very sad. Let's take out our 10 millimeter and we'll kill it this way. Because I don't want them annoying me while I show you my cash. Sorry, mole rat. Alright, let's take his mole rat meat. I don't think, you know, you can't do any form of cooking or anything in this game. So, that's Fallout New Vegas. So, the rock is... Somewhere around here. Somewhere. You'll know it's around here. I'm gonna find it. Don't you worry. I think it's this one here. Yeah. See this hollowed out rock? It has these tree trees around it. You'll get a .308 caliber round as requested. A sniper rifle. That's why you want to come here. Because you get a sniper rifle really early in the game. So if you go into weapons here... Uh, go to six. We only have ten bullets for it, and it's quite nearly broken as well. I'm buying or paying for repairing stuff is kind of really expensive this early on in the game, so you don't really want to be doing that. But I guess you have it. Isn't that the main thing? I also didn't get the marker for Megaton because we didn't go in, so we actually have to walk all the way back to it. Third person in this game is Janky's Hellman, but I still feel like I can play third person in this game better than I can in Skyrim. Now I can play third person in Skyrim. Alright, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to be one of those people on Mope. I can play in third person. You might not be able to, but I can. You could sell this, but then again, our VATS and our perception, or our perception and our luck is pretty goddamn high. So, sneak attacks with um, anything is going to cause serious amounts of damage. So, that's pretty goddamn great, isn't it? Uh, let's just be nice to him. Because you can be evil if you want to um, to have some fun in that regards. But I always ask him for the for the bomb, and talk to him about disarming it. Uh, we won't be able to get anything off him here. Yeah, well, we can disarm the bomb now if we want. 
But I don't think we have the explosives. For Maybe we do. My explosives is up. I think it's like 30 or 40. Let's go and check here, actually. Let's... Uh, can I disarm it? Yay, we disarmed it. Well, you get karma, and you always get rewarded by people who enjoy good karma over bad karma. And if you want to do bad karma, you can do that. It doesn't really matter. It's just kind of a difference in companions. And I guess some minor choices. Uh, yeah, but he gives you a house, which is pretty great. And that house is, like, right here. No, the house is up here. That's it there. See where I'm looking at? But you could also go and do evil and blow a Megaton and get Tenpenny Tower and be an evil person. But you don't need to be evil to have fun. You could be good and have fun. Here's Wadsworth. Um, not Codsworth. Be careful not to get the two of them mixed up. Now, what you want to do is you want to go talk to Moriarty. Because he'll help us. <gasps> there is an armory here, actually, as well, that we can go to. Oh, I forgot about the armory. But I don't think... I think you need to have, like, a hundred lockpick or something. You actually need to have, like, an insane... Uh, there's a, some Chinese assault rifles and stuff in it, I think. If I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. That's the process. Oh, yeah, we've gone the wrong way. Oh, there's Nathan. The Enclave capture him later. It's really funny. I don't know. I wasn't arse checking the thing anyway. Oh, man, you should take Lucy West's mission. It's really cool because you can get the shish kebab if you decide to kill certain people. Arafu. Blood Ties is a really cool side quest. Here's Gob. Gob's great crack. We love Gob. Moriarty, you wee wank stain. Help me. I don't want to give you the caps that you're making me do. Also, you don't need to listen to dialogue either, bro. If you don't want to listen to dialogue, you don't have to listen to it, alright? Bro, is he actually is he actually gonna make me do 300? Is he actually gonna What the hell is this? I, I always do speech. This is the first time I've ever not done speech high because I'm doing this a bit different. I never knew he upped the caps if you were declined the first one. What the hell? I'm basically broke now. This is the worst. We don't want to go to Arafu now. We want to go to following his footsteps. Bro, what the hell? Actual plain ripoff. That is so horrible. Look how fast our loading times are. Isn't that insane? You wish you had these kind of loading times. I don't know, man. It's pretty easy to play a game and enjoy it. A lot of people like coming in and, and complain that they don't know how to or that they're all done out with it. I mean, if you've played the game and you're bored of it, just go and play something else and come back. I'm sure there's another game out there. But you'll probably come back anyway. But if you are really, really, really determined to replay a game, I mean, just do it a bit differently. And even if it's a linear game, do something small. Like, use a different weapon. Something. Like, like stick yourself to one thing. I don't know. I put all my points in the lock. Something I've never done before. And do you want to know what it does for me? This. Critical strikes. 